Alright, so welcome to Power World. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to migrate our server. So if you look over here, there's my little house. There's my little pals. And then there's another player's house. And then we got the other player house over here as well. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to migrate this over to another server. And if that sounds good to you, stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. All right, so what I got down here is I got my power world <clears throat> here. This is my main server. And going over here, I got um, power world over here, and this is on my um, test server. So what I want to do is I want to take the data from this power world, and I want to put the data over here into this one. <clears throat> so how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. If we go up here, we'll go to our share drives. And we go up here to our app data. And then from our app data, we go to Power World. We go to Pal. And we look in our save folder here. What we have is we have saved games. And this, for like a new migration, this is what we want to copy over to our other server. And we'll set up share drives here in a minute to make it easier. But what I do want to show you, once we click in Save Games and go to zero, and we have this hash. Inside this hash is where we have our level data save and we have our players. And this is our player data right here. Um, if you're migrating, like, trying to merge um, your data together. Um, you really want to sit there and put everything in the same hash over there. One thing you got to realize is that on these level saves, um, you're not really merging that. You're just importing the players. Um, for better or worse, um, you know, that's how you're going to have to do it if you're going to kind of be merging multiple players into the um, server. Um, but for our purposes, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to actually go back and just take the whole save game and bring it over just for um, simplicity. Well, the easiest way to do it is um, going over here to your test. And we want to set up um, share drives. So let me show you how to do that, and then we'll get started. All right, so the set of share drives um, is just going to make things go by a lot easier. We're just going to go up here to the app data, and then we're going to go down here, and I'm going to just go to export, hit yes, and then I'm going to hit apply. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to go to my Windows machine and map this out. So if I open up a um, share folder over here, and I go over here and I go to this PC, I should be able to right click up here in a second, and go down here to map a network drive. And I can type in um, my local IP, which is like for this one. Actually, yeah, I can do it that way. Um, the name of my server here is Mad Test, and then I'll just hit Browse. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got my two slashes, and then I hit Browse, and then here's my Mad Test, and it's going to add for my credentials, and this is going to be my uh, Unraid user. So I'll just put in my um, Unraid user information and I'll just hit remember because it's my local and hit OK. And then this is the power wall. So we're just going to click on power wall and hit OK and hit finish. And now this is mapped to our U drive. And we're going to do the exact same step on the um, main server, which I already have right here. So this is my main server and then this is my um, test server. So those are the two different ones. So if you notice in my test, if I go down up here and I look and I go down to PAL and I go to save and I go to save games, go to zero, and then there's this hash there, and then 
there's nothing there, just these two files right here. There's no user data or anything. And what we want to do is just to kind of show you this is we'll open up Power World. And over here, we'll hit join multiplayer game, <clears throat> hit OK. Recent servers. Um, down here, I'm going to copy my um, IP address over. And this is my local IP to that test server. And I'm going to hit enter password because for my unraid box here, I just kept it as the default because this is just test. Um, so if I just go to doc, Docker here for the um, default password and hit OK. And it really doesn't matter. I showed my password there because this is a test server. I don't keep this on and it's going to get blown away after this demonstration anyway. So here it's asking me to create a new character. So I can sit there and create my new character and play. And I'm just going to hit start game and hit yes. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is I just want to show you that this is going to start a new game. And I'm going to have space just to skip all this entry. There you go. And we're just going to start anywhere in here because it doesn't really matter because this is for demonstration purposes. And if we look, you know, we just see everything's pretty vanilla. There's nothing built up, nothing's out here. And I'm just going to hit escape and then I'm going to go down here and return the title, hit yes. And I'm going to exit out of um, quit my game and firewall. So now we're back into our test um, unraid box. So what we want to do is we want to go to Docker and we want to actually stop the um, power wall for on our test because when we bring the data over, we want to make sure that when we restart it, the data is going to be there. What we want to do is we'll go back over here and go back to our share drives and we go into pile save games and then we have the save games over here and zero and then we have this hash here and we have the players over here and then this is just my um, one player that I got here now there's two ways to really like migrate so if you already have an existing game already set up and then you've been playing like solo by yourself what you can do is you can go over here to the um, your main server and you go over here to pile, save game, save games, zero. And then we have this hash and then we have the player data down here. We can copy these players over to our players and our power world over here. And what that would end up doing is that would migrate your players over um, from one server to the other server that's already existing. But, you know, for me, for like right now, I have, um, I don't really have a player set up on this. All my players are already set up on the other one. So the best way in my circumstances to migrate is what I want to do is go back to my main server go to pile and then just copy the save folder and then go over here to the pile and then I'll delete this save folder out and I'll just delete it really quick and then I'll end up pasting the new one over and then once I paste that new one over I can go back over here and I can start power world and I will copy my IP over for my local. And I will go back over here and start PowerWall up. And then once um, PowerWall is up started, hit close, join multiplayer game, hit OK, go to recent server. And I will click over here, and that's my reset um, IP and a password. And again, this is my test, so if all things go right, um, I should have 
all the uh, buildings and everything up still. So if I go back into Docker, which was the default for this test server, and look at that. I got everything up. I still have it's nighttime down, but that's okay. I got my house. I got that other um, building over here. So I got everything set up. All my piles are here, and migrating the server is up. Easy as that. Um, <clears throat> so have fun and uh, enjoy the game.